whoever missed even single salah, then it's upon Allah to punish you. You deserve his punishment. You deserve to enter in Jahannam. I know it might sound, you know, scary, but remember Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is sent for two reasons. We can't be talking about, oh, be kind, be nice, Jannah is there. Sometimes we must mention Jahannam. Bashiran wa nadira. He was sent for two reasons. To, you know, give warning and also to give glad tidings. So please, the way the masjid is full like this, try and come back Fajr time like that. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying that the most two difficult prayers upon munafiq is Isha and which one? Fajr. Allahu Akbar. And that is a sahabi. What's the name of the sahabi? Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum. Masha Allah. He came to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's conclude it with this. He said to him, Ya Rasulullah, I am old. I'm a blind, blind man and I have no one to guide me to the masjid. And in Medina, there are many holes full of snakes as well. Too many reasons. He is blind, number one. And it's that time, night time, no one is there also to guide him. And he is all in age. Subhanallah. He listed all these, you know, faults, thinking that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will allow him to pray at home. Then he said to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, can you please allow me to pray at home? Then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, no problem. When he turned back, he called him. He said to him, atasma'an nida, can you hear the adhan? Then he said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yes. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him that then it's upon you wajib to come to the masjid. This is Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum. He's old, he's a blind man, and Medina is full of snakes. Remember, it's night time as well. But even though it's upon him wajib to attend Salatul Fajr and Salatul Aisha, then you have no excuse, Habibi. Just try, I know it's not easy. Even myself, sometimes my dad will be there knocking at my door hundred times. It's difficult sometimes, more especially if we are in this stage, youthfulness, right? But try and train yourself. If you show Allah that I want to do this, then Allah will make it easy for you. Allahumma a'inna ala dhikrik. Oh Allah, help us in remembering you. Make this dua all the time. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for you.